the other thing I think about too is I always think about your historical information. So what's what's the market trends and how do we offset from highs and lows and some of the risks that we sure. see and some of it's predictable and obviously some of it's not. But you know how do you manage through some of those financial risks just of the ebbs and flows of market? I think those are you know that's a very interesting question to pose. Do you have any ideas or suggestions to our viewers for that? Historical data is historical data for a reason. Um, it shows you a past that is oftentimes uh, comes to comes back around, right? Um, we have cycles in our economy. We have cycles in our, our crop production. We have cycles in our weather patterns. And if you can take all that information and use it to make a solid decision, once again, you've mitigated so much risk. Oftentimes, and, and I find this in, in myself and with, uh, with my dad, when I sit down and talk actual business with him, if you don't take that data and actually analyze it, some of the decisions you feel like you're making off a of past experience doesn't line up with the data. And, and the data can all, it is key, right? Um, I, I've taken feed sample after feed sample after feed sample, and you feel like you've got a good feel of what may be in that until you actually analyze it. And then you analyze it, and then you analyze it, and then you analyze it, and then you realize over a stretch, you know, this female that I've been working with that looks beautiful on the outside, their mixer CDs are terrible. Sure. <laughs> you know? Oh, and so it, it's all about taking that data and using that data wisely and making sure that uh, you're, you're taking advantage of the information that you have. 